Hi everyone, here we are. We got example two now. Um, 3x over x squared plus x minus 2. Um, we're going to graph that and we'll just start with the domain. Alright, well the domain, let's set the denominator, x squared plus x minus 2 equal to 0. This does actually factor. Um, if I go plus 2 and minus 1, that's going to equal that. And if I set each part equal to 0, x plus 2 equal to 0, and x minus 1 equal to 0, I'll get x equals negative 2, and I'll get x equals 1. So um, when I describe the domain, I can go from negative infinity. I can put values up from negative infinity until negative 2. Cannot put negative 2, so curve bracket. And then I can't put negative 2, but anything between negative 2 and 1 I can put in. And then, but I can't put 1 in, so I go from 1 to infinity. When I describe using interval notation the um, domain. Okay, so that the negative 2 and 1 make the denominator 0. So this is a way of saying everything from negative infinity to infinity except for negative 2 and 1. All right, we are going to simplify if possible. And this is 3x over, I factored it, so let's write the factored form. And the factored form might be coming in there's nothing going to cancel there so it will it's already simplified um, which means there's not going to be any holes to deal with now next step is the y-intercept and we get the y-intercept by finding f of 0 so I'm going to use the factored form when I'm doing my calculations I think 0 plus 2 times 0 minus 1, and that's 0 over 2 times negative 1, whatever that is. So the y-intercept is 0, um, so it goes to the origin. Now, vertical asymptotes. To find the vertical asymptotes, this is our simplified version. It was the original version. It's also the simplified version. Um, set the denominator equal to zero, and we've already done that, so I'm not going to do that again. So x equals negative 2 is one of the vertical asymptotes, and x equals 1 is the other vertical asymptote. Now the zeros, kind of partition that off, the zeros, uh, we set our numerator, 3x equal to 0, so x equals 0 is a 0, which made sense. Um, since the y-intercept is 0, then um, the x-intercept is also 0. So, okay, so we got the 0, the lone 0 in the problem. Now, horizontal asymptotes. Um, well, horizontal asymptote. This is a case where the degree of the numerator is less than the degree of the denominator. The degree here is 1, the degree here is 2. When, the, when that is the case, then the horizontal asymptote is the x-axis, also known as y equals 0 in the equation. All right. Now, it is time to start drawing, and what I'm going to do is go one, two, three, four, uh, negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four, one, two, three, four, Five. 
Okay. So, I just kind of labeled everything. And, um, let's get the vertical asymptote drawn. Both of them. Negative 2 is a vertical asymptote. A little curvy there. 1 is a vertical asymptote. Okay, I um, hope you added that we do need to think about our horizontal asymptote. I'm just going to kind of draw on the x-axis because that is our horizontal asymptote. Um, the thing does actually go through, so there's a zero there. So I got the vertical asymptotes, the zeros, I got the horizontal asymptote. Um, now I also got the y-intercept with this. Okay, now the next thing is finding, I would like something left of here, so I'm going to just go for f of negative 3, and that is 3 times negative 3 over 3 plus 2 times 3 minus 1. And I'm looking at negative 9 and 5 times 2, negative 9 tenths. So here's negative 1. So it's right around there. Okay, that's, that's some telling information there. Knowing that this is an asymptote and this is an asymptote, um, that's good information. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and draw that curve because if this is an asymptote and we're coming here, we come here and we hit this point right here, and then we come down to there because we are not crossing the axis here. We know we're on this side. We know we don't cross. This is the only place we cross the x-axis. That was our only x-intercept, our only zero. All right. Now, I would like to find between the zero and this asymptote, I'm wondering what f of... I'm going to use negative 1. You can use one point, negative 1 1.5 or negative 0.5 or something, but I like to keep the arithmetic as easy as possible. So let's go 3 times negative 1 times... Um, okay. All right. Let me recalculate this before I get too far into the problem. And then I may have to redraw this. Whoops. So let's go negative 3. I used 3 instead of negative 3. Negative 3 here, negative 3 here. Negative 3 and 2 is negative 1. Negative 1 times negative 4. All right, this throws it off completely. Okay. Do you see I used 3 instead of negative 3 right here? All right, first mistake of the year. Negative 1 times negative 4 is 4. So this is negative 9 over 4, which is negative 2.25. So it's still, uh, we're still okay, but it's down here where this is. So if we're coming from here, when we make that curve, it's just a little further down here. Now, I'm a little shaken up here. Let me make sure we've done this correct this correctly. Negative three plus two, negative three minus one. That is positive four. Three times now. Okay. So the curve's still kind of the same, except it comes down here deeper before it starts coming and decreasing here. All right. Now, f of negative 1. I'm going to take negative 1 plus 2 and negative 1 minus 1. And I've got negative 3. And this is negative 1 times negative 2. So negative 3 over negative 2 is positive 1.5. So at negative 1, we are at positive 1.5. We're right here. And then between negative 1 and 1, I'm going to find f of 0 0.5. And then you got 3 times 0 0.5 over 
0.5 plus 2 times 0.5 minus 1. So I'm looking at 1.5 here. 1.5 and negative 0.5. All right. Oh, I, I know what this is. The 1.5s cancel out. So this is negative 2. So at 0.5, we're at negative 2 here. Okay. Uh, the y-intercept. What did I do? I did 0.5. Okay, I knew this. Okay, let's just bring this over here. I am very sorry, guys. So this starts here, comes over to here, goes through the origin, comes through this point here, and, and comes down to here. I used 0.5. I thought I was using negative 0.5, but I wasn't. But it's okay. 0.5 over here gives me that point there, and it does give me enough information there. So we have that part of there. All right. And then, curious, maybe what f of 2 is. Hopefully I can do that correctly. f of 2. We take 3 times 2 over 3 plus 2 times 3 minus 1. This is 6. 5 times 2 is 10. So it's 0.6. f of 2 is positive 0.6. So right around there. We do not cross the x-axis. Found f of 2. Just making sure, guys, because I've Oh dear, that's 2 plus 2, so 6 over 4 times 2, 6 over 8, okay, so it's 0.75. All right, so that tells me this side is above, remember our horizontal asymptote here, here, and we'll come over like that. All right, now, again, I would encourage you to check this. Put this in parentheses, put this in parentheses, and divide it in your um, y equals and see how that goes. All right, one more example.